In part one, I shared my top books that helped me go from a negative bank account into multiple six figures every month and becoming a multimillionaire. I'll pin that video right here so that you can go ahead and watch it. Money is so much more emotional than we realize. It's never really about the money. And when I see people get so upset, I'm like, I know what's going on. We bring all our past beliefs, all of our experiences into our relationship with money. We bring it into how we run our businesses and how we conduct our lives, our relationships with others. So if you're like me and you want to expand your money mindset and stay ahead of your clients, then these books are for you. These books will help you grow your money mindset and also make confident moves in your business. I'm always recommending to my clients books to read because I feel like if they help shift me, they'll help shift them. I always say, take what you're reading and then make it into your own verbiage, into your own teaching into your own ideas because the more that you do that you're actually expanding the way that you think and feel about money a client of mine well most of them I just told them about reading 10x is, fast, is better than 2x had massive transformations and shifts from just reading that book she's telling everybody about it now because she read it and now it's like wow I have this whole new perspective on what's going on you just don't know what you don't know until you know right and when I read these books I get a new understanding because I really study the patterns of my clients and this is why I have said and I haven't read anywhere else and I read lots of books take in lots of programs I have not seen anywhere else say that money is masculine and the way we receive it is feminine I know that is so true for the types of clients that I teach high achieving women high performing women women that have been in their masculine this is a thousand percent true for them so this is why it's so important to integrate everything that you're reading and learning into what you're doing and how you're conducting your life in your business when you're authentic this is when your videos and your content goes viral just like when I was on Elena Cardone the billionaire show my video was the one that went viral because it was true and it was authentic so always try to whatever you're reading always try to bring it back to well how does it feel and what does it mean to you right how are you affected by it I've written my own book so it's an accumulation of all these books so you don't have to go out and get all these books right now you can just go buy this one book from me unlocking the quantum woman it's on Amazon we have over a hundred five-star reviews it's doing amazing everybody that's read it said it's changed their life so I would start with that book to be honest with you I'm gonna be linking all of my books for part two in my Amazon link and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you get notified every time I drop a new video especially when it's about money one of my first books that I want to tell you that was a game changer about it in 2018 it's secrets to the millionaire mindset for me that book was really profound and I think it's profound for a lot of people T Harv Ecker wrote this book and it's kind of crazy because years later I was in a mastermind with his son Jesse Ecker. It's it, it's fascinating when you see people who have been raised, you know, with that money mindset, how they are. But this book was one of the books that really helped me understand that money does not make you rich, right? It's your mindset. It's the way that you think. There's so many people that have had extraordinary amounts of wealth. They become millionaires, billionaires, lost all their wealth, and then they're able to make it again. What really struck me with that is like, okay, so I can think like a millionaire, create the wealth, but hanging on to it was a whole different story, right? And that's what really makes people rich. It keeps you into the belief system that wealth and money is always are always there. And I've seen so many people copy that book and make programs about it and tell people what to do because it was a jar exercise and people have made millions copying this guy. I want you to read that book though. I think I, I, I say it's one of the things that you should read because it's going to expand the way that you think about money. It's going to expand something in you. And it's one of my utmost favorite books, right, to read. I've got one that I'm going to share with you at the end of this video that's also my, one of my top favorite books. So stay tuned. I'm not going to give it to you right now because you got to watch the video and don't just rush ahead and try and figure it out because I'm going to give it to you. My next book, and these little these books are tiny, right? You, you can read through them really quickly, is The Wealth Mindset by Neville Goddard. I do love Neville. I love what he says about I'm in the Bahamas. It's one of those things that, you know, when you really can understand that it is the way you think. If you understood that wealth and everything that you do around money, it starts with here and then your emotions are going to back that stuff. It's like a game changer, right? So the wealth mindset for me was like, how do how do you think in a wealthy way? What do you think and feel about money? How can you shift and change the way that you're looking at money? And I'm telling you, this book is going to help you, help you have that shift in you. Really short book. I recommend that you go read it. And you know, I think you can find some of Neville's books online somewhere. I didn't tell you that, right? Shh. But you can get some of them somewhere. But I like the physical book because, like I said, I like to take a pen and I like to draw. I like to write. I like to take the state, like, you know, if I read a paragraph and I was like, wow, this thing, like, totally, like, made me think a certain way, then I'm going to rewrite it on the side because then it becomes like law in my head. So definitely go grab this book. I think it's amazing. Another great book. Yes, I'm on a Neville train right now. I, you know, I, and I'm, I don't sit here and try to teach Neville stuff. Like I said, I take what I've learned 
and I make it Shamina stuff, right? Because everybody's teaching Neville stuff, but I like making it Shamina stuff because I know it went through the do -do 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 computer and came out like this where you can understand it. So for me, this next book is Your Faith is Your Fortune. So it is a little bit, got a little bit of a, you know, if you're not religious and stuff, I mean, just read it, read it with an open, open mind. You know, sometimes these old books, they will have some things in there and, you know, whatever you believe, universe, God, whatever it is that you identify with, just try and see and stay open to what it means and the lessons that are in there and the stories that are in there that can start, because I believe we learn from stories. I remember I told you earlier in part one about how I read a book and they were talking about bartering with money and it was, it was just been a Babylon. And I had this vision when I was reading this story about the exchanging of the money and how where bartering came from. And it literally like, left a little image inside my mind that every time I feel like when I'm using money, I'm like, it's not gone forever. I'm just bartering. I'm using something that's a tool. It's just become a tool for me. So again, read that book, but it's a good one. It's a good one to read. Another book that I read, and I think 1800 other people left reviews on, on Amazon about this book. One day my book will have as many reviews. It is The Magic of Manifesting Money. And I believe that this book was such a true book but it gave you like some some things to think about when it comes to how can you look at money in such a way that wasn't so linear so emotional could you look at money in a magic way could it be so possible and ridiculous that you could you know um, manifest large amounts of money and i really feel like every single book that i read gave this little sh shift in me gave me a new perspective because i'd rather be reading this stuff than talking to people that are talking about scarcity and they're in their vic and so for me every time i read these books they just keep reinforcing or giving me new information about how i can do you know things in a greater way and like i said in my first video if you missed it really doing 15 to 20 minutes or even 30 minutes of money money work every day incorporates reading books like this sometimes rereading them like i said you read something once you get a shift you read it the second or third or fifth time and it's like whew, new perspective right so definitely go grab that book it's going to be something good i like it i feel like again i've read probably over 100 books when it comes to money books but go grab that book because we all want to manifest more money right don't you i do so all these books i'm sharing with you are like shamina mindset from back in the day like a 2016, 20, you know, 18, you'll see, you know, cause we're showing you all the books when I purchased them from Amazon, you'll see. And, and, and you know what? It wasn't even that long ago. You know, what's crazy is I never read the secret. Isn't that crazy? I have never read the secret, but yet I figured out the secret. So there's other ways of getting to a result. The last book I want to share with you is how to attract money by Joseph Murphy. He's written a lot of books out there as well. And you know, I, didn't have my business set up back then. So for me, I was like, how am I gonna get more money in so I can go you know, set this business up? And so I was like, how do I attract more money? How do I attract more money? I became so good at attracting money that I then wanted to, to, to apply it now to my business. I'm like, okay, well I can attract this, these amounts here. And I, they weren't always consistent, just to be honest with you. Money was coming in, but I wanted consistent money coming in. So once I got my mindset right, then I could attract money. And then I had this business, I am millions. And that's why when I came to online space, I had already been doing this work and I started my business officially in 2020. And I had done a program in 2018. No, yeah, 2019. And I did some coaching in 2018, but I was still practicing law. But 2020 is when I said I was going all in on it. I came in, I thought everybody made a million dollars. So by doing all this work and you're watching my channel and listening to my podcast and reading my book and you come into my world and learn my programs, you're going to see what I'm talking about. I came here and I was like, you know what? Everybody makes a million dollars. It was the expectation. And guess what? Because I was already primed with all the stuff that I was reading, I was taking away the garbage that was making me think that I couldn't. I came into a space with pure expectation that of course it was going to work. And I had all the tools in my toolbox. You know, everybody listens to Abraham Hicks. But every time I would listen to them, I would have this like, well, what if I actually have a, a belief or an emotion that's telling me that's not true. Like, what am I going to do with that? And because it wasn't, it was just like very factual things. My head could sometimes wrap around my emotions wouldn't get there. So I was always fighting with my, my subconscious beliefs that were there trumping it. So I'm like, I know I got to do this emotional work. And once I did, things changed. So that's my book selections that I would go and grab right now. Like I said, there's so many other ones, you know, I mentioned E squared in another video, which was great. And Jen Cisneros has like a book about making money too. 
There's so many books out there, but listen, when you're reading, I want you to go into these books and read with the mindset of, I'm coming here to let go of anything that doesn't serve me around wealth and money. I'm coming here to get myself so expanded in such a state that I believe that money's pouring out everywhere, coming out down everywhere around me. It's sitting here just waiting to drop in my lap and there, it's available for me. So if you can get into that state and you can be into this belief system, I'm telling you, things are going to change because they did for me and they changed for my clients. So once we can get into this shift, magic happens. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, if you haven't sent me a message below, and if you liked any of these books, if you read any of these books and you want to share with me, drop a comment. I read my comments. I'm, a, I'm in there commenting with you. And if there's other books that you've read that you want to share that maybe I haven't mentioned, and I probably already read it, just letting you know, but uh, I'm always open to learning. I love reading. It, like, I love absorbing. Like I said, I buy the book and then I get the audio book. And by the way, if you haven't got this book, go grab it now. I love seeing all the book sales coming through. I recorded the audio version of it. It's coming out soon enough and you're going to love that. You're going to want both. The hard book is really good because you're able to do the journaling prompts, which you're I'm mean, taking through my process of how I like move through the crap because I was so stubborn about things, right? I'm telling you all the things, if I could tell you all the little tricks and things that I did to try and get myself into the state of belief. Like I have my little Ganesh here. I have so many things around me that are just help, helping me. And here is my citrine. I was doing all. And these are just here for the aftermath of Shmina just getting into the vibe of the cash, right? So go join our Facebook group, The Quantum Woman. If you haven't done that, go listen to my podcast, Unapologetically Rich. Yes, you get to be unapologetically rich. You get to have all the money in the world. You get to do have those things and you don't get, need to suffer to have it. You get to have it, okay? And go grab my book. We usually have a three-day masterclass every month. Go you know, join, come in there and join us. And we've got wealth meditation. We've got so many resources for you. We want to help you. We want to help you expand. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, Remember to hit the like, leave me a comment, and share. Let everybody like have this abundance. I'm in abundance, so that's why I'm sharing. All right, stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.